Very good morning to you, Mr. Ambrose. Um, good morning. You saw what happened in Tottenham. We all saw with horror what happened in Tottenham. We, we hoped it, it wouldn't spread. It has spread. But it seems in, in each and every case the, the individual situations are, are slightly different. Yes, it does. It does seem very different. I mean, uh, in Tottenham alone, um, you know, I worked in the area. In 2008, I took a team from the Broadwater Farm to Tokyo, and we also visited um, uh, Number 10 Downing Street at the time, and Mr. Brown was there, but uh, Sarah Brown was actually uh, welcomed us. Um, and those boys got the opportunity. Um, unfortunately, though, there are excuses all the time being made. I feel that you know the, our children don't get opportunities, or you know they're bored. You know, I mean, um, the question I want to ask parents uh, right now is, where was your child on Saturday night, Sunday night, and last night? You know, how come uh, parents allow their children to be going out at nine or ten o'clock? We saw pictures uh, on Sky News. I was up to the early hours on the Gillian Joseph, uh, who was presenting last night, uh, show of 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 children aged 10, 11, um, involved in this well anarchy. Yeah. So I mean, is it down to the parents? Is it highlighting that uh, much discussed issue of broken Britain? I, I think so. I think the parents have a responsibility. Um, I, I can tell you now, uh, unfortunately I lost my mum in December, but there's no way she would let me out at 9, 10 o'clock, uh, at 13, 14. Um, so it begins at home. The schools and the education uh, side of matters are trying to educate our children in this country. Um, you know, these are 13, 14 year old uh, kids. You know, there's a 10 year old who's about two foot tall being questioned by a police officer yesterday. Um, which was in the papers this morning, which is just, just beggars belief, really, you know. Hmm. So, I mean, you know, we're hearing, uh, and the mantra has been for the last three nights in London, certainly, that, you know, this is naked, this is wanton criminality. 10, 13 year olds, aren't they just doing it because, because they can and because it's exciting? Exactly, exactly. Um, I was just like everybody else, I came in this morning and people are just sh sh shaking their heads, you know, and, and the fact that um, um, we watched last night on, on Sky News of, of, of the looting, you know, um, uh, I think a young girl said it's because we're taking it um, because of our taxes. I mean, she probably isn't working, she's only about 14 and walking down the road with a TV. You know, I mean, it's absolutely horrendous and, and terrible. I just really can't understand how parents uh, to, uh, last night can see their kids come home underarm with a TV or peer trainers from local shops. Um, the schools are up against it. Uh, I think the discipline's gone in the schools. I mean, when I went to school, we got the cane and it wasn't for swearing or anything like that. Um, and there's no way we'd be looting. You know, I think the discipline's gone in the school. Um, the days when we were able to, 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 to open our front door on a bit of string with a key, they went and that's when my life changed, I think. Um, so I think there is a major issue here with social responsibility with the parents, uh, the government, I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, you know, uh, there's not enough police. That is quite clear to see. They were outnumbered, outmaneuvered and outwitted by technology. You know, the kids are not that stupid, are they, to use iPods and, 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 and Twitter and Facebook okay. uh, to, to, to run us ragged. We've got the Olympic International yep. Committee coming here this morning um, to discuss, okay. you know. Nikki, I, I really thank you for your thoughts, but uh, we are out of time in this hour. Nikki Ambrose there. Stay with us. Statement from the Prime Minister expected at half past ten.